Hello and welcome to Techno T Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chong and welcome to the Go Digital series, episode 51. Okay, 51. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's such a long time since the very first episode that I launched uh, last year. And thank you so much for everyone out there that, you know, stay with me, <clears throat> watch all the live or Past video, comment, feedbacks, everything. Yes, I greatly appreciate it. And today, we're going to discuss something very, very interesting that, you know, when it comes to WordPress, we're, uh, you know, one of the great things about WordPress is we, we don't need to really do the coding, right? We can actually do and drop and set up the website the easy way, you know, the layman terms way, okay? Not not the programmer way, okay? So, um, you know, besides that, even though the default Default editor already allows you to do that, but there are plenty of web builder out there, you know, offering different kind of functionality, uh, pricing, services, and so on. So which one to choose? I think this is something that uh, beyond the ordinary CMS that can give you, a content management system that can give you. So, you know, WordPress has reached this um, level that actually have more choices that you can imagine. So why not let's take take a quick look and decide together. Well, again, welcome to the episode fifty one, and let's talk about WordPress Web Builder. Okay, there are eight here, and let's explore together. Let's go. Okay, first of all, today's giveaway in this of this episode will be the commercial posting of my WinNet that. You know, they have more than 3 million impressions uh, in the past 3 months in the Google search. So, definitely when it comes to, you know, SEO strategy, content strategy, uh, as well as content marketing, or perhaps a simple backlinks. If it's very useful for your company or yourself or your brand or your client to actually post a certain things into a very huge, uh, a reputable website, okay? Posted to my winner. So, sponsored by... My we had 10 commercial posting with a permanent links and yeah you can you can just post whatever you want except you know um legal stuff uh, no pornography and stuff like that okay so this is a great deal okay try to grab it okay so let's talk about web builder okay as i mentioned just now web builder is something that allows you to build a website without the programming so which means the drag and drop interface something like you know uh, let's say we talk about photo editing, uh, image editing. Uh, we have some uh, simple tools like Canva. Um, you know, even a PowerPoint also allows you to do a simple way to do a great presentation. Yeah, before PowerPoint is is tough. Okay, so this um, this presentation are intended for educational purpose, and I'm not trying to replace any independent professional judgment because all of this is based on my very personal opinion, and. Yeah, it's based on my experience, okay? However, I think I have certain qualifications because I've been using WordPress more than 15 years, actually. Um, I use this for business, for personal, for NGO, for organization, and perhaps for enterprise as well. So, yeah, when it comes to web builder, I have some, yeah, little experience I can share with you. Okay, so let's carry on. Okay, all my videos, um, you know, all the Go Digital Live series, of almost all, except one or two episodes, <clears throat> most of them have the slides, okay? So go to the video description, click on the slides under the resources, and when you access to this deck, whenever you see these buttons, uh, means you can actually click and access further resources or perhaps a reference. So, you know, why why stop you, right? Do you actually, for the information that you, uh, you can see, actually you can explore how I actually get the information too. So this is why these legends are, so let's carry on. Let, let's start a simple definition first, okay? What is web builder? Put it this way, web builder are tools that typically, okay, I don't want to read from your slide. Put it simple, without manual code editing. I think these four words represent everything, okay? So if you look at those programming, um, you know, the, the HTML, the CSS, JavaScript, PHP, whatever programming language that you heard before when it comes to web programming as well. So none of them okay so no need manual code editing okay it's a drag and drop interface so that is something we call web builder okay so let's carry on um <clears throat> so let's start with also web builder because i mentioned that this web builder actually 
under the CMS of WordPress. So WordPress is okay. I don't want to mention. Yeah, seriously, you do know about WordPress. I think. Yeah, I don't think it's 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 a need to explain, right? Because like, yeah, I'm sure you heard WordPress somewhere, even though you never use it, even though you never um maintain it, manage it, update it, or anyways. Okay, you, I'm sure you heard about it. So nah, I'm gonna skip this. <laughs> Okay, so just for love, you know, if I told you building a website doesn't have to be painful, yes, a simple meme. Actually, yes, in, in today's technology, they are so much easy um, comparing to the last 10 years ago, you know, a decade ago, where we are still struggling in terms of building the website, uh, really thanks to uh, e-commerce, uh, sorry, um, ecosystem like WordPress that it built up, you know, we have a great plugins choices, team choices. We have a lot of freelancer agency out there that, are you, that can actually assist you. And the entry cost is so low, okay? While wow, they actually can provide an enterprise grade of WordPress. So yes, it is not going to be painful. That's why Web Builder being exits here, okay? So let's carry on. Okay, let's start with a simple one that WordPress has. Okay, we, we do have this guy called a uh, classic editor from quite some time ago. Okay, if you if you're someone who been using WordPress for a while, I'm sure you're familiar with this interface, right? You know, you can write your stuff here, your title is on top, and then you can publish, you know, stuff like that. Yes, that is classic editor. I think the interface tells you all. What you see is what you get. Okay, W S I R no mind. <laughs> okay on the other hand um wordpress did introduce i think two years back they introduced a blog kind of editor so it's called gardenberg and if you see all these button button here it's actually like a it's like a widget okay last time but now they call it block so you can take a quick look you see this underline here actually here you can be click okay you can click and then it will actually redirect you to the WordPress Gutenberg page whereby you can actually try it out on the spot uh, while they actually introduce you the Gutenberg. Yeah, it's, it's such a, a creative way, you know, that um, showing you something but allows you to test on the spot. Okay, well, that 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 product itself is actually is a, a page editor. Okay, so it's cool. Yeah, you can take a quick look there if you don't know about it. Okay. Let me show you the fast facts. Um, the classic editor, the left hand side here that you see is was first released two thousand five, and the garden bird was released I think about four years ago two thousand eighteen. By the way, let me check whether we are still here. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. Um, okay, this is the very interesting facts that um classic editor, um now actually exists as a plugin because last time it was built in. Uh, it's about 5 million active installation according to the plugin directory of WordPress uh, op official responsibility. And on the other hand, the Gutenberg actually installed in 20K. So this is something that weird, you know, because um, usually the latest release will be loved by everyone. Okay, this also a little bit like the trend. Like, I'm not sure you can recall last time, um, you know, after Windows XP, we have Windows Vista. I'm not sure you still remember that era, okay? And Windows will start when they first released and then, yeah, this is something that happened. Imagine this is Windows XP. A lot of people love it. And Windows will start is like, not much people love it. <laughs> I I can see that kind of trend, okay? Repeat again in WordPress uh, default editor world. There are reason, there are reason, okay? It's not saying that uh, Gutenberg is not good. It's simply... The ecosystem is not ready, okay? Put it this way, in short. What what do I mean ecosystem? There are plenty of plugin out there that are actually still compatible with the classic editor, which means you install the plugin and then when you go to the classic editor, you can easily call the short code and stuff like that. But in the garden bird, it's still, yeah, it's, there, are, there are a lot of works to be done, huh? okay? So, you've done the fast fact and imagine Okay, all sites are responsive and thanks to the web builder. Actually, nothing to laugh, but... May I say it's impossible somehow? Because there are people who are not using WordPress and there are people who are building the website particularly for certain device size and so on. So, yeah, you still need to imagine and 
I don't think it can happen yet. Okay. Yeah, maybe Google can come up something about okay. it. By the way, the two guys that we mentioned just now were the uh, classic and the so-called built-in WordPress default editor. So we, when we talk about the third party that you can actually find uh, from the ecosystem, there are six guys here that I, I would say the best with it. Uh, okay, even though we have more than 20 other web builders out there. Okay, I apologize if your product, let's say you are a WordPress web builder out there and you feel like your product doesn't fit here or you feel like you should be here, yeah, please put in the command and then let me know and I do my best to, you know, add on another video to describe further in terms of WordPress web builder uh, ecosystem. But however, today let's focus on these six because I personally use them uh, at least for a few projects. So I have certain uh, experience and qualification to really share about, you know, how, what is works and so on. So when it comes to uh, why use default builder, right? Uh, I got something to share is in number one. In, in WordPress world, usually we trying to minimize more plugin to be installed, okay? That is for sure because more plugin it is, more resources require, and there's a risk in terms of plugin conflict to each other. So less plugin, less risk, less resources. So when you use the default builder, definitely you don't need to install additional plugin. Simple. That's number one. Number two, as well as because the default builder is um maintained and updated by the WordPress professional community. So for sure they will optimize in a way that it actually load very, very fast compared to the third party uh builder. However, there's a certain uh scenario that additional uh, third party web builder have performed better okay in some way but this kind of optimization uh, need to be done is separately i would say so yeah things could be different but yeah definitely there's a there's a reason uh, to use the uh, default then why we use the party builder okay if you try the default before and you try one of the guy here okay then you know why the number one for me is simply uh, I will use the word simplicity because if you try this guy before you feel like ah oh, it's so easy to implement something fancy I give you one example I'm sure you you try some web page before whereby you can scroll and then the the parallax effect uh, I know this parallax might be a jargon a new term for you but just imagine when you scroll and then there's an effect that fade in uh, that cross over the layers you know stuff like that so that is Parallax effect, and if you are using a default editor, if I may, there's no default feature to, to achieve Parallax effect in the default editor. Yeah, you, you need to do some so-called magic or the codes, okay, to do that. But the third party builder here, the guys you see here, all of them can do it. You know, that's a feature there, okay. So let's carry on. Okay. If I'm telling you each of the uh, you know features and stuff, okay, I don't think you can compare them. But if we know the purposes and their strengths of the common features that well perhaps actually you're going back to why you need to use a web builder in terms of the purpose, then I think I think you will actually get much more uh, better idea which one to choose. Okay, so let's go with the purposes. Okay. Number one, loading speed. Yeah. Okay. According to my my personal experience, uh, classic editor definitely is the fastest so far. Because it's been around more than 10 years, been optimized the best, and yeah, it's really cool. Then the rest, if you see just one star, except Gutterbird, Gutterbird have for for some reason they are Sometimes they perform good, sometimes they are not perform good because maybe when the first launch and then they are still optimizing and updating it. Okay. Um I hope I really hope that Gutterbird will be um reaching five star really soon because they are actually retired the classic editor and sooner and sooner we will be using Gutterbird regardless regardless what in the WordPress uh, default. So yeah, hopefully. And all these guys here, you know why I put actually one last star? Because it's true. If you look at the Google page speed and stuff, um, 
when you're using web builder like this, definitely your DOM size should be bigger because um, even though your page have just one tiny maybe text, okay, but the way they the the design of web builder is they have a lot of blocks behind, so they are definitely the the cost will be longer, and standing on Google pages, you know, the the speed test. One of the criteria called DOM size will definitely so called uh, not so healthy. Okay, so that is something you need to consider if you need to pass certain criteria. But if you if you okay that, um, you know, from the human uh, human from a user perspective, it doesn't doesn't really uh see the huge difference of the loading speed. Then yes, web filter can be a consideration for you. That's one, okay, just for laugh, you know, your reaction when clients say something is missing, but I don't know what it is. You know, this is similar thing when you take over a website, and that website have 80 plugins actively, uh, yeah, active plugins, and then uh, your, your client or the previous freelancer or agency say, I don't know what's wrong. And doing everything correctly, why why the website is slow? So it's like, okay, uh, just for love, by the way. Okay, let me let me have a drink. Well, next point is just for the purpose of of the web builder. I would say the templates. Okay, you want to start something fast. You want to start something easy. Go for web builder. Okay, especially, uh, seed prod or even DV. Then comes to Elementor, uh, Visual Builder, Beaver, then TB5. Yeah, all these guys have a lot of templates, okay? Regardless, uh, free or paid. Of course, uh, the so-called paid version have much more premium uh, templates and stuff, but I up to you to explore. But what I mean is when you go to that web builder, you have the libraries there and the templates and so on. So the best thing about DV is... um. They have keep updating their templates from time to time. So that that is one thing about DB here. And when it comes to Garden Bird, they have few templates existing in the um WordPress plugin repository, but I, I don't really like them yet. Okay. And however, go to the classic editor, I don't think there is any template that exists right now. So forget about it. So if you want or you need templates, then you need to consider the third party, okay? If you feel like you can you creative enough to come out your own layout and so on, then you can go through the default editor. Yeah, I mean, simple message here. So let's carry on before moving to purpose number three, you know. Learn to call a lot of people feel like, oh my god, that, that is something beyond me. But if you're saying using website builder, web builder, then... Yeah, everybody can be a web website build developer. Really. It's nothing just for us, it's actually true. Okay, now here is the part that I think many of you are actually really, really interested because of the pricing, right? Okay, put it this way. Garden Bird, Class Editor, 5 star. Why? Totally free, okay? Nobody will charge you unless you go for the Garden Bird, uh, some add-ons, the premium add-ons. That, but that is beyond, right? Okay, however, when it comes to this uh, builder, Okay, let me put it this way. Most of the builders here have annual subscription basis. Means you are not purchasing one time, but you have to pay annually. Why? They will update from time to time. They will keep updating the templates, remember I mentioned, and so on. So there are, there are certain supports they need that are in terms of, you know, small mouth of, uh, you know, pricing from each user. So I think it's fair enough. But the reason I actually put DV, uh, it's so high here actually because they have a lifetime deal for agency so which means you just pay one one time and then you can access to lifetime updates plus yeah it is quite attractive but it is really depends on whether you like it or not okay we will talk about that later but definitely this pricing is according to the latest one as per december uh, is it december Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, <laughs> okay. According to I, I released this video lah. Okay, 
So let's carry on before I go to number four, you know. So many website builders to choose from. Yes, it is. I told you guys already. If you go to WordPress plugin uh, directory, you just type WordPress, uh, no, 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 web builder. I think you can easily find 20 there, okay? All the free one, even though they they offer the, the upgrade package. Okay, there are lots, okay? So now we, we talk about pricing and all this stuff. There's one more thing is, let's say you're new to WordPress and you try and learn it. Okay, here are the learning curve. So far, so far, the, the easiest one that I, that I bump, you know, bump into is the Elementor and Classic Editor because it's very straightforward and it allows you to publish your, your site easily, okay? The rest is a little bit tough, okay? I'm not saying that to set up a simple, you know, just a simple, hi, this is title, hi, this is body, then that's it. I'm talking about you want to play around with insert picture, carousel, with much more layer and sections and so on. Is Yeah, each of them have their pros and cons, but definitely, um, even low learning curve doesn't mean that plugin is bad, okay? And I need to point this out for you. This is something that you try to familiarize yourself with like Photoshop, uh, you know, this kind of complex software. But after a while, once you once you get to the interface, I'm thinking, I feel like actually all of them are quite straightforward. Or maybe put it this way, if you know the fundamental basics, like what is layer, what is widget, what is this, what is this, in terms of WordPress world, say you, you've you been building websites for more than three years for WordPress, I sure, I'm pretty sure that you can adapt to them quite easily especially you know all the terms you know like the margin the padding uh, in terms of the css side um you know alignment those kind of symbol and so on yeah they are quite similar okay in a way it's just the very first time user you might face different challenges okay so that's learning curve here okay just for love again okay if you are a graphic designer or even a web designer Yes, the reason I take such a long, deep breath because I experienced this many times, okay? Even though I'm not a designer, I saw this many times uh, even when it comes to you design a certain project. Everyone have their own opinion and everyone are different. So when it comes to web design and developer, definitely I would go for web builder at first place. Why? Because I can easily update according to their thousand feedbacks. <laughs> yeah, that that is something I would I would call it. Um, I will use web builder to build as prototype until they actually approve. Then I will actually use better way to also call without web builder to produce the same page if. Performance is your concern else. Yeah. Okay, just for love it's done. Next one is just the functionality. You see all these web the party web builder have five star because each of them have their unique selling point. And some of them even have additional add-on selling by other third, third party. You know, the third party have other third party to support them. So this is why you know WordPress ecosystem is huge. Okay, you can you, something you imagine then someone else is offering out there so it doesn't stop you from the so-called limitation of functionality and so on so that's one thing however if you look at um the default one classic editor definitely like yeah nothing much they are they are the simple it's like uh if you use a pc i'm sure you have notepad then we have wordpad then microsoft word right okay imagine classic editor is like notepad Okay, Gutterbird right now is like WordPad. Then the rest of the third party uh, web builder is like your Microsoft Word. Okay. Uh maybe I point this out. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you are. Microsoft Word, I don't think you use every single feature yet. If you use all the features in Microsoft Word, please put it in the comment box. I want to know you. <laughs> okay, it's not really a challenge, just it would be amazing that you use uh, yeah, every single feature from Microsoft Office. Yeah. Okay, that's functionality just to show you and just for love again. And, you know, um, when you've done a beautiful functional web design, yeah, so happy, right? You want to really say, and then suddenly your client say, yes, please embed my Twitter feed. So it's like, oh no, your Twitter is ugly. Your your, your posting is ugly. Why, why you want me? 
to fit inside the website. I was like, oh, okay, yes, we understand too. So, just fell off. Okay, let's continue. The last but not least, this is very, very important. Let's say you're trying to do your website for a long term. You talk about three to five years down the road. You need all the community and support. Okay, we talk community. We talk about the forum. We talk about you can find somebody else other than yourself to advise you or support you in some way. Okay, these six guys here is awesome. Okay, this is why I choose them. The other two, yeah, a bit tough, a bit tough. Okay, especially um, classic editor is retired, and less and lesser people actually will go and support you. Okay, in such way, so. Yeah, that that is something you need to consider. Okay, I already put up on oh, this guy. I'm trying to be fair because um, like I mentioned just now, uh, web builder, all these six guys here that is considered third party web builder other than the WordPress itself. Um, uh, they develop from time to time. They update from time to time. So definitely, you know, after a while of your setup, you might actually face certain challenge that you can't fix by yourself. For example, the plugin conflict, or or somehow the the patch that you built like two years ago and then suddenly doesn't work anymore. So yeah, you you need to support, okay? So they are great. And just for now, again, when people actually say yes, my website is done, actually, it's never done. It's like do they software in mobile apps and so on. It's never never done, okay? Put it this way: Look at your mobile phone. How many apps you actually can update through your Play Store, your App Store? It's actually easily close to every day you can update. If you look at this giant company like Facebook, YouTube, or even Gmail, you look at how often they update their apps. Okay, website actually similar. It's never done. Okay, please don't don't sell this kind of mindset to a client that. Oh, website will be completed. Uh, you know, in three months, then I will hand over you to you, and then that's it. It is not like that, okay? Please, but just for love, okay? Yeah. Last but not least, again, you know, seriously, which is better? I know most of you were like, Jay, come on, please. Every time you want to compare things, and then you never give a straight answer. Yeah, actually, it's, there's no straight answer. Yes, indeed, there is no straight answer because each scenario, each requirement, each request is so much different. But if you ask me which one I use the most, I would say Elemental. Yeah, I gave my answer already, okay? I use the most. That doesn't mean it's the best also for you, okay? It could be not good for you because of the learning curve, because of the interface, because you just somehow don't like it. I don't know, okay? I I would say I myself I prefer Elementor. Okay, that that is me. Okay, cool. I think just for love, one more time. I heard you do want to be a web developer, so here are the few devices for you to test your site. You you know why, right? Because each device has different screen size, and your website need to be responsive enough to support them, so that your website looks great in all sorts of sizes. I hope this picture is valuable, especially to freelancer web agency. When you try to explain to your client or your prospects that screen device and responsive is something tough. Okay, don't say that WordPress really did a good job. Uh, it will respond by itself according to the screen size. Actually, not really. Okay, look carefully. Yeah, but I like this picture. You know, picture do the thousand words, so yeah, good for it. Okay, now when it comes to WordPress related, please, I have more than enough WordPress tutorial, you know, and related videos in my YouTube channel. There are few here, you know, whether WordPress is good for enterprise or not. Go to my uh, episode for this sevens, and if you want to know how to speed up your WordPress website. Okay, by disable some plugins on specific page. Look here, you know, Elementor for beginner, eight simple elements and five tips and tricks. Or even you want to create a three D flip book from your PDF file. All this, actually, this is just four. I got a whole playlist here called WordPress Mad Easy. Okay, please visit here or just go to my channel and look. Just type the keyword WordPress, then you can see quite a lot. Okay. 
so these are the legit uh video and you know this this really just for love like, you know when, when when my friends told me they update a website or their software you know they never back up before update and I feel like they like to live their life dangerously and take a lot of risks for that. <laughs> so yeah. Remember the update, okay? Before you make any changes to your website, okay? Even though just a web builder, actually web builder can make a lot of changes. So again, thank you so much, guys. This is web builder, and I'm gonna give away the commercial hosting right to my winner, the close to three million impression in Google search in the last three months. So stay with me, and upcoming again, I'm going to release this publish, uh, the complete guideline for you. To enjoy a new year okay how to choose the right agency okay inside you actually read about what you should avoid it and how what are the checklists for you when you actually so-called approaching the agency okay it will be full checklist okay stay tuned with this and yes again you're going to share with me you can suggest you can vote for any topics then please go ahead and what result okay this is something coincident uh, if you look at my previous episode i already mentioned uh the the handbook the guideline they're actually preparing okay on bf half for my company and somehow someone <laughs> okay put this identify bad web agency okay i don't know why you get the idea and there are quite a numbers of people actually come in word so next episode we will talk about identify bad web agency or I probably the other way around is ten common mistake when you're choosing the web agency. Not saying that web agency is wrong. It's just the way you find the match because you're trying to find an agency that work closely with you, not just you know throw you a website that thought that is good for you, and then you also don't know which one is good for you. So there are ten common mistake. I'm gonna cover in next go digital live series. Okay, in fifty two. The episode 52 okay so let's talk again on that part and again the giveaway that i promise you guys 10 commercial posting worth more than 100 usd okay the simple question here is should you use wordpress default builder or the third party okay you can refer to my uh my video okay there's a replay right okay go and check it out and then go follow my social media i'm going to post up the uh the giveaway then the first one who answer it will win away okay i'm going to announce it in social media as well so please follow me look at my youtube channel inside the video descriptions you can follow me there's a list you know link in facebook instagram or you can always go to my video um the, the banner there i think there's a few buttons in desktop version or oh, yeah you can very easy to find just look for technology simplicity in all the social media okay that's the question and a giveaway please grab it if you don't feel like you win it or you just want to get the article to make it done you can always you know come to me or perhaps you can go to mywinnet.com so we submit the article as well so yes thank you so much guys okay please share with your friends in terms of uh, go teach the live series every wednesday at 15 p.m okay the link is always there we will always update and yeah feel free to join me and share with your friends yeah, I think that's all. I really, really appreciate that you're going to stay with me for, you know, this short 30 minutes. But I think this is very wonderful for all of us. And thank you so much. Please do me one favor before I go. Um, Put a like to this video. Subscribe to my channel. And put a ring so that you get notified when I go live again. As well as upload a new tutorial video. That short and sweet makes you learn and love technology. In simplifying your life so thank you so much guys this is jay chong signing off for technology simplicity youtube channel hope to see you again and stay home stay safe goodbye everyone bye bye